Uh, my name is Chief Master Sergeant Rick Cumbo, and I'm the load master on this plane. This is a C-130J model. Uh, my primary crew duties are I'm in charge of basically everything back here, 245, bulky 245, and back. Uh, my primary duties is a load master, so I load the plane, I handle passengers, uh, well, any cargo we have basically. But on a weather mission, I'm basically the drop zone operator on the plane. And uh, we'll basically use these drop zones, we'll drop these out of the bottom of the airplane, and they'll collect data as they fall. It'll collect the temperature, the, the, it's got a GPS sensor in there to collect the winds, to collect the pressure, and we'll drop these in various areas of the storm to, to find out weather data. So we're mainly concerned with, in, in a hurricane, the eye wall, this gives the max winds, and also in the center of the storm, it'll give us a, the pressures of the storm. And we'll take that, I'll take that data, and the system will collect the data, I'll take and put the data into a weather format that the rest of the world can read, I'll QC it, send it over to the weather officer, and the weather officer will send it off to the Hurricane Center in Miami, and they actually make the forecast of where the storms are going. Okay, right, right now we're flying in Hurricane Sandy, and Sandy is not just a typical storm. It's got very low pressures. It doesn't have a, that much wind associated with it as far as the pressure goes, but it's a vast system. It's a big, wide system, and instead of being a small, condensed hurricane like most of them are, this is affecting the whole eastern seaboard. All the data I collect with the SONs, along with this vertical data, along with the horizontal data that I always collected, is, is vital to the forecasting of where the storm is going. Uh, if, if we can get good data into the models that predict where the storm is going, they're able to uh, reduce the, the, the evacuation area of these storms along the east coast. So you want to evacuate such a big area, you can concentrate on just a state or a couple of states. I've been with the Hurricane Hunter since 98, and I, I've always been uh, kind of fascinated with weather. I came into active duty uh, as a weather forecaster, and uh, actually probably my first experience with a hurricane was actually Hurricane Gloria, because I lived on the East Coast, and seeing Hurricane Gloria kind of fascinated me with weather. So uh, I wanted to get involved with weather, and I did 10 years of active duty in weather, and then I came over to the Hurricane Hunters in 98, and uh, have been here ever since. Well, I guess since I've lived on the coast my whole life, just coming out here and collecting the data and knowing that, that our data actually goes to good use, it, it helps in the forecast of these storms and evacuating and notifying people along the coast, it's, it's actually a good feeling to know you're doing something that counts.